Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Ventura from LTD Hunt, and now I'm going to tell you how to set up your Firebase Google server to use with WWE Web Plus API or with other tools for free if you want to use webhooks, okay? So this is Firebase. You go to firebase.google.com. This is the pricing. Uh, here you can see that you can use for free the Google database with uh, certain limits. As far as I know, you don't need to use a paying account of Google Firebase today. Use WA Web Plus. Okay, the free account of Firebase is good enough for you. So just click in Get Started to create your account. Or if you already have an account, click in Go to Console. First thing that you need to do is click in Add Project. Now I'm going to enter the name of your project. Just click Continue if you want to enable Google Analytics here. I'm not going to choose Google Analytics now. Now I'm clicking Continue. Clicking Real-Time Database. Create Database. Keep everything and just clicking Enable. And now change the Write and Read permissions to True. publish. Don't worry about this warning here. Uh, as far the co-founder of WAB Plus told me, I'm not, I'm not a technical person, okay? I'm just following the steps that he gave to me. Uh, WAB Plus immediately take the information, pass it through the webhook and pass it to the WhatsApp and delete it immediate, immediately from, your, from the database. So uh, he told me to not to worry about this notice here. Uh, remember, I'm just here to try to teach you how to set up this based on the co-founder information, okay? I'm just in trying to record the video to help. I'm not, the, I'm not a technical person. Okay, so let's move on. Oh, and there is an important information that he told me. Never, uh, never share the ID of the project in Firebase here. If you share the ID, if someone knows the ID, what is the ID? Just click in data here. People could send messages in your name if you share the ID. This is the ID. My first WA Web Plus. Never share the name of this ID with anybody, okay? So now you just need to go to the WA Web Plus in your WhatsApp and set up your first webhook clicking webhooks. To make it work, your first webhook in WA Web Plus, you need to click first in Firebase settings. Just click in Firebase settings. Now you need to look for your API Firebase key. You need to open a new tab and write console.cloud.google.com with your Firebase logged in. So now make sure you have the correct project clicking in the arrow. See? Choose the same name that you added first. Open the left side menu, APIs and services, and credentials. So now you copy the API key of your project. Go back to WA Web Plus and add it here. What about the project ID? Go back to Firebase. So take the name of the project that you created here on the top and copy. Copy and go back, project ID, paste. And click in Save. Click in Create a New Webhook, Incoming Webhook. Here, you add the name that you want. You know, if you, for example, are doing a Calendly, Calendly integration, you add Calendly here, 22, or Calendly 55, or Calendly 1. To create a webhook, you're going to see in the next video. But this is the main link that you need to copy and put in Zapier, Integromat, Integrally, Public Connect. This is the link, the main link that you need to use, okay? So, see you in the next video. I hope that I could help you here. And uh, cheers. Bye-bye.